Okay, so here's Light Dance mechanics, right? He has one, two, three, four mechanics and four, five. So the five, the fifth one is he debuffs you of the AOE explosion rages. Yeah, who cares about that, right? But then there's the high caliber rifle that constantly shoots and you can prevent this by just like you know obviously destroying it there's this one in the middle it shows who he will be targeting in the at the bottom you can so you can actually guard yourself by taking cover in that one and then the high caliber rifle the, the most annoying one if i have to choose which one you want to destroy as as soon as possible it would be the high caliber rifle because the high caliber rifle that that it, it you know when you're shooting it, it does it, it's something that's kind of hard to to guard right so the grenade launchers that one's another straightforward thing and yes he throws that obviously just destroy them so that he stop will he will stop using them and then the other one is the the wings is this a wing yeah this one you cannot guard so that one pierces through the cover you can do this fight entirely without uh just by taking covers because you will see the indicators right which ones are go going to be triggered and once you destroyed all these parts once you destroyed all these parts you're only going to be dealing with two mechanics only so the two mechanics that you're uh, once you d destroy these parts the two mechanics that you're going to be dealing with is just the this one the targeted which you can take cover and you'll be fine not you're not gonna take damage on that so i usually i would just like swap to the unit and then guard there uh, make sure you cancel this at the top left so the, usually i do this but this one yeah he does that you cannot really cover that so most people that run no healer comp you can it's doable and you just really have to pray that this thing doesn't target you like your scarlet or guillotine if you're using a unit that reduces their hp but otherwise yeah i would just like swap for that one so after you destroy all the parts you're just really gonna deal with those those parts so that's light dance mechanics in terms of what my union kind of used some people you can completely do it with just being purely offensive but some people like they didn't really want to deal with covering so have a, they went to grab a healer instead but ideally just core damage shooter because once you destroy the parts you're only going to be left with the core really so just focus uh, just have core damage shooters like assault rifle machine gun or like sniper rifle Sinister is probably the easiest boss you don't need a healer at all on this boss but what I would do is basically if I just do this do charge attacks this is my snow white team comp and there's different timelines for this one so there's this one where you can just keep spamming and get snow white to shoot first and then next is maxwell now there is also a yulha timeline but before i go there before i show that this is the boss mechanic that you really just have to watch out he teleports in the middle and then all you have to do is just cover so you don't get stunned and then re rinse and repeat occasionally he's gonna spawn out some bombs that you have to deal with but really this boss doesn't really have any crazy mechanic that is worth noting so there's that for sinister and using snow white comp maxwell comp with uh modernia and there's another one where with if we use yulha the order kind of changes this time around what i do this time around is i would use maxwell as bursting first and then snow white second so that snow white will time with yulha 
the the thing about using this steam comp though is at 2 30 at the, in the timer yulha's buff will trigger right this is the skill too that that you want to line up your snow white burst with but the thing is at 2 30 the boss teleports which makes it kind of really difficult to time it so to me what i do is i just charge up instead and just release early and then because he's gonna teleport like there and it makes it hard to aim for the core maybe you could time it for aiming for the core but to me i'm just i'm just gonna release it but what ends up happening after this is from here point on it is a lot easier now though to to line up yulha's burst so now i constantly do this try to charge up okay now fast charge okay so it's 206 what i tried to do is burst start the burst at around 204 or 203 so that it will the litter buff will line up along with yulha buff and i can also release maxwell so let's see so i tried to line up this right there so you saw i dealt like 900 or 990 mil right there on my snow white but obviously because i'm like 368 but that was a snow white burst that had uh well it showed that straight shot and uh, weakener but that's also because but it had i i guarantee you that it had litter's buff i think anyways the goal is you want to release snow white's burst with litter's buff and yulha's buff at, at the right timing and keep in mind that yulha's buff triggers at every 30 seconds so that's kind of how i did that's like my the two rotations of snow white that i had for sinister and let me show you the union log the level nine i completely one shot it with this team uh, litter litter snow white maxwell novel and modernia at level 368 uh and um this is another team that used see it's level 321 and it used yulha and obviously you know, you know they they had different investments so so that's why there's like some gap another thing that team that you could use is you could use like targets core shooters like scarlet modernia you could actually use guilty guillotine i mean here as well chatterbox i don't think we really need to explain how chatterbox works uh the the main thing about it is he has like a huge qde that where shotgun or rocket launcher are good to clear those qtes because he'll just put out a bunch on the screen but in general really uh alice team <laughs> look how consistent these teams are so yeah here we go this example of our chatterbox teams it's all alice uh snow white some some snow white but it's like it's <laughs> it's just copy <laughs> we're just, co we just copy pasted the <laughs> just slap pierce aoe rocket launchers are also good I would not recommend using Scarlet or Modernia here, IMO. I think it's a waste. And the main another thing about Chatterbox is it's weak against water. That's also why we choose Dorothy in that. So that's why Dorothy, we kind of saved our uh, Dorothy Alice on it. All right, so Rebuild Vulcan. This is what some of you are kind of just like wondering how to really deal with and sometimes it might get annoying to deal with this if especially if um you, you're not like you're not trying to think 
what really is important here so first initially the boss is just gonna continuously do these kind of basic stuff like shooting and he doesn't have any parts right now so that's why he's everything is pretty simple yeah. spawn some bombs sure nothing really big deal here's the probably a good timer to remember around every like this 30 second timer right 230 he'll jump in and then he'll spawn this shield that's when he'll spawn this shield and so you can actually you want to time your burst to line up during those so that you can just like destroy these shield pretty fast and you, so you don't want to let let it continuously do that because if you kept that shield he's gonna continuously do that aoe thing and then he's gonna respawn these rifle and these rifles uh right now at the beginning it, they don't really do much yeah but it, yeah right here this is when they're gonna stun a character but you can cover it so you can take cover on it and you're not gonna get stunned after that timer he will jump again and again just reminder on the timing here so well obviously it's not exactly that because it's gonna it's gonna matter also how long how long did you actually um did you did you actually like destroy this because if you took longer on destroying this it'll actually just be it'll just you know it's gonna delay it obviously when he's gonna jump in and then he's gonna do that same mechanic again oh he's gonna respawn things oh he just respawned the caliber rifle he's gonna do the same mechanics again but what i would recommend is like for example you know obviously you're not always going to have that you could use a mix of like shotguns so you could do that or because shotguns are good because whenever he puts the shield up he's he comes up close and shotguns are pretty efficient for it another example i guess is so a snow white team i'll go i'll just give you an example for a snow white team that you could use on that and this is gonna be like a single target snow white team so or like let's say yeah a, a full support snow white and actually i would even say you could use you'll have with this and this is actually it's actually gonna be good so the the this is like a solo single carry snow white comp with like bully and how i would do it is do this all right so this is like the solo carry snow white ideally you want to fast charge early and burst with yulha first right and remember the timer that i told you earlier about at 1 one thirty or 2 30 right so you want to reach that time you don't want to immediately start this i'd say around 237 so it's around 227 i think when he pops the shield i like having a little bit more leeway so i will probably cast at 236 to 235 that's how i do it oh all right i think that's fine he's gonna jump watch He's gonna put the shield up then you destroy it <laughs> did you see him do the aoe at all there so that's an example of like it, you just have to keep in mind that and obviously he's gonna have like a different timer again because we we're just gonna let it we're just gonna let it play again oh he's gonna stun someone he's gonna stun me yeah right there okay there's the there's the stun that i was gonna show wow anyways he's gonna do like double rounds of it 
he's gonna attempt to try to stun but technically he's he doesn't have anything else so he's not really stunning us and then he's gonna jump again so the timer is a little bit different this time right see it's a lot earlier because because we destroyed it a lot earlier also so that's something to probably keep in mind uh, when doing this but again you can just like if you if you timed it right like technically you wouldn't really have that much of a problem you can just like destroy it immediately and it's great if you can match all those buffs along with Yulha and those are the two main timelines and then he's just gonna repeat the same thing again what he was doing earlier so rebuild Vulcan it's pretty that's I another Snow White use that you guys are some people are probably not aware of uh, most people uh, they didn't really want to deal with in my guild uh, you can ve be very offensive on that like see I used oh yeah this this one I used my electro team comp with helm mostly recommended just like use scarlet or modernia to focus target or you could use uh, a mix of shotgun with it to help with the it, like just the shield destroying the shield because some, some people probably uh, didn't have that kind of setup multiple parts is not as useful on it but if you have maxwell or snow white for peers it's good for that for this boss because like you're timing your burst to to line up when he's shielding so that's the rebuild vulcan all right the thing that everyone talks about in mother whale uh this is probably like a big stopper for a lot of people that don't have teams that are built to handle mother whale one setup i guess that i would say is probably the most popular in my guild was having dorothy with brevity and the bunny girls and then for the dps it's either scarlet so you could use scarlet or alice those are the two main ones some people were wondering how they can use the electro team comp and because there is a part around 44 seconds left where the boss kind of just kills you well not kills you but kills those peep those units that have enmity in them which is like scarlet and guillotine and really the play on it is i have helm actually so this is like a crit based team i control manually control helm and helms skill one gives crit rate of normal attack and you know who else normal attacks a lot scarlet guillotine who gets buff with crit damage mass buffs them with crit damage so this is actually you might think like oh helm heals them this is mm, you use it more as helm more as kind of like an emergency crutch for healing on like specific mechanics so you're not gonna use burst on her consistently but you're only gonna use it on specific times instead and so let's talk about um mother whale there's two different ways people are gonna deal with it one if you're strong enough two if you're not strong enough if you're strong enough you can actually focus on destroying the core and that way you're not gonna deal with you're not gonna deal with the mobs because destroying that core it will actually prevent you from having the mobs with max like max out defense here so you can like kill them immediately there's no buffs that's gonna happen and you can just attack them now if you actually don't destroy the core which i'm gonna show right now so if you don't end up destroying the core 
the mobs will end up having defense and really mother whale i think is plenty more about that situation about dealing with the uh with dealing with the mobs or knowing how to deal with the mobs so it's either you deal with the core see but then if you don't now they get the buff and now they're only taking one damage and yeah so that's one downside on this now here there's other ways to kind of deal with it so let's assume that you cannot destroy them you cannot kill them immediately so first one i'm just gonna charge up fast so i have two different units here there are actually three relevant units here yulha is one her burst same with isabel her burst also and ludmilla her burst also so let's see let's let's get this so remember how we when we did if we don't destroy the core the mobs will get max hp if you actually use ludmilla you can actually destroy them and what happens there is basically you start using ludmilla you use her burst before the enemies get shield and then the moment they get shield up her burst will trigger and but then their defense or the the, the, the amount of damage that was registered or the, the the amount of damage that she would be dealing is based off their defense before they got the defense up and then she will then deal damage once they get the shield up but then when they get the shield up they their hp gets lowered really like super low now here's another thing i'm gonna delay it a little bit i'm gonna use dala here and around 227 the second wave of mobs appear and the same way that ludbilia works is going to be how we're gonna deal using isabel so waiting for it or 225 and so you do that same thing again they get the shield up but then because of isabel has a delayed like burst she does she does apply that same thing again and now you try to charge up again so now you have enough charge again for the third wave and you can use ludmilla again so like now i have to i don't really have to deal with these so those mobs so that's how one way to deal with those mobs and it's gonna avoid your thing and then when that boss aoe there the damage increases the more mobs there are so you really wanna you wanna you wanna kill those mobs so that's like the solo raid strat on mother whale it does apply in here for weaker people that cannot destroy the core immediately ideally though you want to destroy the core asap and uh, one of the best ways to deal with the core is you could also use machine guns as well machine guns can hit the core well uh, sniper rifle also so those are other options and then ideally by the time you get here you know you have like either cover saved up or you're pretty healthy and then usually either you survive to survive this way most people just take cover but if they can't cover there's heat you know you, you could use heal different things so those are the different ways to deal with it and around this part in time the summon ports are gonna recover so ideally throughout the entire battle you have been dealing with the uh, we have been trying to destroy the summon ports because the summon ports does give bonus like points not much though yeah it's not much it's like i, I gained like seven mil from it six mil so it wasn't it wasn't really a lot but you can do that and 
I'll just keep going. I'll address the bombs in a bit. For some people that might find the bombs really pesky. So I talked about the... And then he's gonna do the, another mob set of spawns again. And you can do that same thing that uh, we did. Where you use delayed bursts instead. And based on how much mobs left there are the boss is gonna do this aoe thing this that's gonna hurt if there's a lot of mobs so, so that's another thing to keep in mind again throughout this whole fight you should definitely be shooting at the ports and also destroying the core when you can and then really it's just another repeat after a while he's gonna spawn the She's gonna spawn, excuse me, Mother Whale. She's gonna spawn the elite mobs again and then... It, but then the fight is about to end, basically. Let's talk about the bombs. This is a, something pretty simple, but... If for some reason that bombs are a pesky thing for you, there are two ways to kind of deal with the bombs. Actually, let me... So you can time... So if you want to deal with the bombs using rocket launchers, you could use aim assist and uh the the way the bomb spawn is more kind of like in in batches so rocket launchers can actually deal with them multiple at once now let's say if you don't want to deal with that this that way you could actually delay your burst. There's another way here. So this is another way to deal with it. I believe around 247. So 247. I do AoE there. And I, yeah, something 247, 246. That kind of clears pretty much all the bombs for the AoE. Now I would suggest like instant aoe's like privity or haran also works uh, maiden also works those are instant aoe's something to keep in mind basically with that burst aoe's is there's like instant where the damage immediately like triggers the moment you use it versus some that has delay so the ones that had delay was like yolha isabel are the examples of it and Ludmilia as well. Ludmilia works and Exia. Exia also has that same thing that she has delay. So th those are units that has delay. Instantaneous units, AoE, I, I would say like Haran. Uh, Privity is kind of... And Haran um, Maiden is instant AoE. So the thing about instant AoE is you're not going to be able to do that trick where well, well you use it before their defense and then it triggers after their defense up. But I think um, because this the mobs are if you're strong enough maybe you could just AoE it with like the instantaneous burst right like for example Haran could probably just deal with it when they spawn especially when you have enough damage. But you know I'm just pointing it out in case like you don't have enough damage <laughs> that's another thing uh, oh scarlet is a delayed burst also that's uh mother whale 101 and to reveal the units that we have used it's uh <laughs> it's a lot of Alice team with Dorothy. Dorothy is actually nice because you can just pretty much ignore the mobs when you have like a strong Dorothy, especially. You can just ignore the mobs. And then, yeah, Scarlet, main DPS, and Bunny Girls. Uh, machine Gun is pretty good also. So, like, Machine Gun is something to consider. One thing I guess that I didn't talk about in that is uh, Snow White comp. You just you just destroy the destroy the. So what you do is just destroy the cores and then line up your bursts. So for multiple hits, that's 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 really it.
with the burst team, I would imagine you should be able to kill the core fast. That's Mother Whale, Nutshell, 